In SAP Business One, you have a perpetual inventory system to track in real time all of your inventory movement uh, from the purchasing side and the goods receipt to the delivery note out to your customer. We're going to run through some of those transactions right now, but first let's take a look at our item master. This is where we store the default information for our inventory. You can see our general warehouse. You can see we've got some of the New York warehouse in uh, this default bin location. We can also take a look at our bin data to see what we have on hand per location. So we've got one in the damaged good uh, bin. We've got some in the general bin in each of uh, the New York warehouse and the, the default general warehouse. Let's process a transaction now. Let's generate a purchase order. Let's do a quick search for that IBM printer that we're looking at there on the item master. Okay, you can see now that we're pulling in by default to the general warehouse in this bin location. We could change this to another bin or to another warehouse if we wanted to. We'll just go ahead and add that here. Now we'll simply copy it down to a goods receipt so that it will be uh, visible inside inventory. Notice that everything copies straight across. We'll go ahead and enter that into the system. And then we'll drill back to that inventory and see how it affected our, our levels in there. Go back to our inventory tab. And you can see we've increased our inventory here in stock in the general warehouse. Again, you can always drill back down to the bin locations and see what's happening there. Let's say one of those items that we just received was damaged. We actually received it damaged. We can simply come over and do an inventory transfer or uh, a bin to bin transfer. Let's browse back to that item that was damaged. Quantity, uh, we'll plug that in here. And we'll select our default bin, which is where we received that inventory. And we're going to move it over to our damaged goods uh, bin. And we can go through and determine if we should get a refund on this from our vendor or if we can simply repair it ourselves. Processing your inventory inside SAP is just that easy. You have complete visibility to the inventory posting list right from the item master. This shows you where your inventory is coming in, where it's going out. You can see we've had some transactions that we've gone through today, pulling that inventory into the system. Again, with complete visibility into real-time transactions of your inventory inside SAP Business One.